So in this uh, section of the Revelation of St. John the Divine, we have these two images of Jesus that come together. The uh, warrior on the white horse, right, who has a sword that vanquishes his enemies, and also the one who has a robe dipped in blood. And this, uh, this kind of this symbol system to describe Jesus and his victory over sin and death is one in which we are always given uh, symbol keys that point to the cross. That, that, that's what it means for um, the rider on the horse to be wearing a robe that has been, you know, that he is clothed in a robe dipped in blood, but also inscribed with the words King of Kings and Lord of Lords that in the, his suffering love, Jesus reveals God's power. That's the paradoxical claim of Jesus and his coming to win the victory against evil in the world. And so the, you know, the sword that he, with which he defeats his enemies is the word that comes out of his mouth. And so if we think about, okay, robe dipped in blood, that's the cross, uh, word coming out of his mouth. So what came out of his mouth? Right? Father, forgive them. But they do not know what they're giving. So words of forgiveness. Uh, woman, behold your son. Son, behold your mother. Words of love and companionship and the creation of a new human family. And it is accomplished. It is finished. Right? The the word that speaks the final word over sin and death, a word of life, the victory of love. So the, that is the sword. And so John the divine reaches out to uh, grab metaphors that his Greco-Roman audience would understand to describe Jesus' victory. Is you know basically they were in the they were citizens of a military superpower. So how do you describe victory? the total obliteration of the enemy of sin and death. Well, he grabs these metaphors from military conflict. But again, he's always, you know, in a sense, the vision that's given to John the divine, he always brings forward those symbols, which root those, which in a sense control the military metaphor with the, um, with the symbols of the cross and of Jesus' suffering love. So that is the paradoxical power which we as Christians are called to trust in, called to serve, and called to proclaim. Amen. A reading from the Revelation of St. John the Divine. Then I saw heaven opened, and there was a white horse. Its rider is called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he judges and makes war. His eyes are like a flame of fire, and on his head are many diadems, and he has a name inscribed that no one knows but himself. He is clothed in a robe dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. And the armies of heaven, wearing fine linen, white and pure, were following him on white horses. From his mouth comes a sharp sword with which to strike down the nations, and he will rule them with a rod of iron. He will tread the winepress of the fury of the wrath of God the Almighty. On his robe and on his thigh he has a name inscribed, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Then I saw an angel standing in the sun, and with a loud voice he called to all the birds that fly in mid-heaven. Come, gather for the great supper of God to eat the flesh of kings, the flesh of captains, the flesh of the mighty, the flesh of horses and their riders, flesh of all, both free and slave, both small and great. Then I saw the beast and the kings of the earth with their armies gathered to make war against the rider on the horse and against his army. And the beast was captured, and with it the false prophet who had performed in its presence the signs by which he deceived those who had received the mark of the beast and those who worshiped its image. 
But these two were thrown alive into the lake of fire that burns with sulfur, and the rest were killed by the sword of the rider on the horse, the sword that came from his mouth, and all the birds were gorged with their flesh. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.